I mean, really. Like, like you couldn't climb that fence. What? I mean, I thought... Oh, the flapjack fire, okay. <laughs> it's very sinister music. Still want to know where this cave is that this kid marked on the map. Let's walk around this fence here. Perimeter of the fence. See what we could see. Is there any structures in there or anything? Or <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm dying to get in that fence. And I know I'm probably driving you guys crazy by not going in there yet. Well, we'll go in in due time. Look at this. I could... I could climb under that. Look at that. I don't know why I brought my camera up. But doesn't look like the fence goes all the way to the ground. There's so many ways to get into this place. Yet, I needed to go get an axe. Chop my way in, apparently. Look at that big rock. That's neat. Seems like if you get on top of that rock, you could see into Wapiti Station and see what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, they haven't made, even made it all the way to the end of that trail. I guess the trail used to go that way, but now the the um, fence has prevented, prevented us from going that way. I'm still curious about Thoroughfare Basin up there. I wonder if we'll ever end up there at some point in the game. Alright, where is this other cave? I guess I'm not going to find it. He had, or maybe it's in Wapiti Station, but it didn't look like it was. Nah, you know what? I don't think it's in Wapiti Station because the kid had Wapiti Station marked on the map. He hit it as the Iron Fortress. So the station was there when he was here. I'm very skeptical that Delilah doesn't know anything about it. I mean, come on. How could she not know anything about it if it's been there that long? Well, I guess, um, I guess we'll head on around to the gate and, uh, check it out. Man, I just don't want to know. I'm just, I'll just check these, these, uh, hills over here on this side this time, just to see if there's a cave here. Not expecting there to be any game events because... Right now, the game is expecting me to go to the gate. So, okay, well, down we go. Alright. Is that music just gonna keep playing now? Sounds like it. Okay. Climb down. I don't like how vulnerable I feel doing this. I feel defenseless. Okay, down we go. I'm looking for you, crazy guy, wherever you are. Okay, alright. Follow the creek here. Thunder Canyon. See if I can find my way back to that path that'll take us to the gate. Is that a path above us there? I mean, if I... If I walked on that? No, I don't think so. Go up this way. Eyes open. All right. Okay. Keep on trucking. Looks like the path goes this way. It's going to be dark by the time we get there, isn't it? It's going to really make it even spookier. 
Yeah, I don't want to explore it in the dark. Okay. Where do I go? Do I go up through here? This sounds this looks right, don't you think? Yeah, that sun's getting low. This is it, isn't it? Great, now we've got some wind howling. Add to the spookiness factor. Okay. I'm running. I wasted no more time. I'm going straight to the gate. I think. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, let's tell her where we are. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Okay, pry open. <clears throat> it's not really how I'd do it, but hey, whatever works. I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. <laughs> okay, then. Screw it, she says. Yeah, because she's in cahoots, man. She's actually here in Wapiti Station, and she's trying to get us to come in here, because this is how they get their test subjects. Investigate Wapiti Meadow. Open lid. Oh! oh bees. Ow! Clipboard. Pick up. Report bee sting. I got stung by a bee. Okay. Is, is that it? <laughs> yeah. Did it, did it hurt? Yes, kind of. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't blame her. So this one says Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station personnel. If you were trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th to October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Cat Ferdinand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issues, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. I'm keeping it. Can't close the lid. Can't cover our tracks. Let's see if I can see anything. Uh, it's getting dark, man. I didn't want it to be dark. Why are you making me explore this area at night, game? I absolutely would not explore this area at night. What's this right here we're looking at? Just a rock? Just a brightly colored rock? Or is it one of those fake rocks? Where they have like a Disney World. Okay, here we go. Sun's going down. Getting darker. What's our map look like? Alright, we're on the trail. We're on the trail. Oh boy. Ah, oh, what have we here? A monitoring tower. Oh, I know it's a monitoring tower? Generator. Monitoring tower. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they can probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Okay. Kind of a strange place for a tower down in a valley, right? I'm going to put those up on top of a hill. Okay, monitoring tower. Can I open it? Can I look at it? No? Nope. Okay. Monitoring tower and a generator. Can I turn off the generator? No. Can't interact with it. Alright, where is this on the map? Did we mark it on our map? No. Don't bother to mark that, mark that on your map or anything, dude. Alright, let's keep going. 
Uh oh. What's this all about? Let's see what's over here. Just another way around. Okay. Alright, here we go. I think. If I don't get lost in this little thicket of trees here. Oh my. Okay. Boy. Soil grid. Oh, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. What else they're up to? What else they're up to? We don't know what they're up to to begin with. Let's um get at it from this way. Could be somebody in there. Whoa! Making noises. That's what towers do. They make noises. Beeping equipment. All sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Beeping equipment. Monitoring tripod. Let's see. This stuff looks expensive, or how could they get this out here? Um... What the? Oh man! Oh, I missed. Oh. Sorry, I accidentally let go of the uh, button on my radio, and I lost my opportunity to talk about it. I'm sorry. Dog on it. Uh, I don't like the interface at all. Yeah, see, when you let go of it, ah, I'm sorry. Oh well. We'll never know. We're not going to report on this. Shelf of food. Hard case. Flip open. Ooh, it's glowing. I'm in their main tent. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there, so see what you can find and get out. Well, there's nobody here. It's just tents and equipment, and yeah, that's it. Look everywhere. Maybe you can find something that will help us know what's going on. Hmm. Why would something like this even be out here? Wouldn't it be easier to spy on people in a city? Somewhere you can blend into the background? Yeah, it's also a lot harder to get rid of problems if there are people around. Out here, you can just disappear. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. How about I stay in my lookout and you do all the hiking around? Uh, no thank you. Tent. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. This place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. So they live and work in the same tent? Yeah, it's all one operation. Huh, like us. Yeah, like us. I see that. I'll get to that. Sturdy leather belt. Looks heavy. Lantern. Bulletin board. Let's see. Potable water truck. Fire equipment. Incident inspection checklist. That's not too exciting. Um, what is this stuff? Machine still busted? Okay, these are just... I don't know water levels or something, I don't know. Conversion chart, more of the same. Nothing incriminating there. A mug. Let's pick up the mug. Just hoof it. <laughs> okay. So many cool things you could have on a mug. That one just says, just hoof it. Junk. Mess. Clear away. Just tell her about the mess. The desk in here is a mess. I mean, it's, it's like someone was in a rush or knocked a bunch of stuff over on accident. Okay. Transceiver? 
What is this stuff? It says Dr. A. Mueller. Barometer? Clipboard? Bulletin board? Earthquake monitor? So much stuff out here. Let's tell her about all of it. What does this mug say? This one says, I, oh, you heart Wyoming. Okay. Plop. Earthquake monitor. Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate <laughs> stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Okay. Transceiver? Hey, this desk seems to be where all the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and oh. sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. So he's just going to say the same thing over and hey, over? This desk seems yeah, to be looks where like all it. the monitoring is recorded. Just dials and computers and sorts of doodads. Holy shit, you don't think they're able to record our heart rate and stuff, do you? Seriously, at this stage, I'd believe just about anything. Bulletin board. Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... Our... People's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas <laughs> marked off on it. All sorts. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. This could all be innocent. Except for the fact that he got clobbered over the head. Let's just say, fill generator, Wednesday and Sunday. They don't even know how to spell generator. Clipboard. Okay, so there's a log here that tracks the movement of four distinct subjects. You and me? Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? The other two? Um, missing teens, maybe? Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're no. still out here and these people are following them? No, not the missing girls. Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why haven't you seen them? I, I, I don't know. We'll talk this over and figure out how to get the hell out of here. No, it's not the missing girls because there's only one female. There's two males, one female. So this is a radio frequency. Subject numbers. So let's see here. This is this is us. This is Henry, right? I'm gonna guess. Special role M O. Frequent departure from Two Forks area. This P E. This is no doubt Delilah. Well, I don't say no doubt, but avoidance behaviors. Consult previous data, and then we have two more males. Special role O. An ND. Unreciprocated desire for copulation. Conflict with other males. This guy has disproportionate food intake. <laughs> Though that's got to be those two dudes. Um, if we look at our notes here, Ron and Dave, right? Because uh, Ron, he's just talking about going out with Debbie, right? Um... Let's see here. And then, so Ron and, yeah, let's toast to Deb at the spot. Another note from Ron. Um, huh. Note from Dave. Let's see. Ooh, okay, let's look at these. Let's look at these notes. These are from quite a while ago there, though. This is this is the first one that we have from June of 86. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? Not familiar with that expression. I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. And then, about a month and a half later, another note from Ron. Dave, hey yo. 
I got in your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know. Amigos profesionales. If you need someone to throw back a case with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it later on, Ron. So this guy, he needs to talk, and Ron's like, yeah, man. Yeah, man, I'm not really somebody to talk to, man. And then Dave wrote back a month later, Ron got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Profesionales is Italian. Now I know why he said that. What went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably ever did it. What's he talking about? Another note from Dave. About a week later. No, no, no. Oh, these are not in any order. Oh, for crying out loud. I thought I was reading them in order. All right. Talk on it. Well, here's a note from Dave on the 7th. Ron, hey, man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back, Dave. And then an undated note from Dave. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that don't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fifes instead. Miss you, Dave. Okay, and then we've got um, a couple of missing persons bulletins, which are the same thing. We found this one by Five Mile Creek. And then this one we found in Camp Arapaho. And as far as I could tell, they're exactly the same. Letter to firefighters. Um, and Ultra Shoni. And then the clipboard that we just picked up. And I wish that I knew. It, it looks like there might be even more on the next page, but it doesn't look like I really have the opportunity to look at that page. <laughs> 